So over here you can see that I have a Blender project and to look around into more options of the software, I'm going to go around in the right side. So once I actually select this object, you can see that there's transform option over here on the right. And this is the properties panel. So you can move around the object by clicking and dragging right here, or you can go around over here and then type in the value as per what you need. You can also go around and work around with the rotation, scale, and everything else right here. And there are a lot of other options that you can work with, which we'll see in further videos. So over here, you can see that there's a lot of tools. And uh, if you want to expand this out, I can just go over here and press control space bar. And then you can see that it expands out right here. So similarly, the default one over here is uh, the transform uh, transform tool right here. And then if you were to click on this one, you can see that now I have selection boxes like this and there are different selection options that are provided. Then over here, you can see that there's the render engine that you can choose. So you can choose uh, the, the EV that is the GPU rendering system, or you can go around with other rendering system as well. And as you change that out, you can see that you got various different options to work around with. And then over here, you can see that you can work around with the dimension of the uh, screen resolution right here, and you can change around the aspect ratio and something right here. You can even turn on stereoscopy and everything else. And this is what we look at into when we're into rendering. You can also set the frame rate right here for the animation and so forth. So over here, you can see that there's view layer. You can use it for rendering. So there's a fairly a little bit of option right here. And then over here, you can see uh, you have the scene gravity units and everything else right here. So you can change around the units and everything. So you can go around for separate units. You can go around for radiance in degrees, change around uh, the uh, uh, the standard, just like this, you can change around to kilometers and so forth, as you can see. So you can work around with the scene units over here. Then you have this one right here. So where you can work around with the world and the viewport display right here, the color of the viewport display as well, and so forth and custom properties. You have the Q option, the transformation option, which we started with right here. And then you have the modifier option right here, where you can work around with a lot of modifiers like bevel and so forth, which you can work out over here, as you can see, to change out the shape. Then over here, you got like other options that you can work with, as you can see. So you can add in particles and so forth. You can work around with the physics engine, just like this, like cloth, like collision and so forth. And over here, there's like object constraints as well, like camera solver and clamp to and so forth and a lot of options. So you can work around with UV maps, with normal maps right here. And then you can work around with different materials right here, as you can see. So you can add and work with different materials and work around with it just like that. So this is something we will see in uh, different options right here. So you can see that you can uh, select colors and so forth, roughness and so forth. So over here, there's brushes and everything that you can work out with as well. You can work around with images and texture. And you can see that this little area right here, the properties panel has a lot of settings that you can work with for modeling and animation. Uh, which we'll cover up in detail in further lessons. So that is what uh, the properties panel is full of. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.